this is the third video of the chapter biomolecules this is the video on the amino acids carbohydrates was completed in two videos first was monosaccharides and the other was compound saccharide this is amino acid now all of the amino acids have two compounds that is NH2 and COOH okay all of them will contain these two amino acids are said to be substituted methane and why is this this is because we know that C the carbon has four valence um, valence spaces which have um, four uh, hydrogen if we talk about methane just instead of these four hydrogens there are four um, predefined structures which are attached to it so it is which substitute uh, hydrogen now the four valency position of carbons are occupied by four substituents groups and that are namely NH2, COOH, H and R now if you try to see here uh, C is alpha because it um, it is connected to all these three okay now H, NH2 and COOH will always and always be fixed every amino acid structure will contain these three just as it is only and only the difference that would be present would be the R that is an alkyl chain okay they would differ to each other only because of this alkyl chain all amino acids will definitely have carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen but um, they may also contain sulfur but that in the alkyl chain and now there are 20 amino acids which take part in the protein synthesis and these 20 proteins are called magic 20 now types of amino acid neutral amino acid acidic amino acid basic amino acid alcoholic amino acid sulfur containing amino acid heterocyclic amino acid and aromatic amino acid neutral amino acid they have only one amino and one carboxyl group no free amino or alkyl group is present in their alkyl chain now if you see these examples these are glycine alanine val valine leucine and isotocene uh, which can be remembered by the name gal gal gavli and glycine is the simplest amino acid that is present and here the alpha carbon is symmetrical only and only here nowhere else you will find a symmetrical alpha carbon now if you see the um, structure of glycine you will find that in the alkyl group has only one hydrogen so it is the simplest nothing can be more simpler than this and alanine group has CH3 in the alkyl group <coughs> and neutral amino acids are non-polar because non-polar side chains are decided by the tip of the uh, side chain okay and uh, if uh, it the pro if the um, it, it gives uh, protons or uh, binds if it gives proton then it is polar okay and if it show hydrogen or ionic bonding then again it is polar but here neither it shows pro uh, neither it give give off protein proton uh, and neither it shows an hydro hydrogen or ionic bonding okay so it is the it this that is why it is non-polar and alanine has the methyl group in its alkyl chain okay valines leucine and isotocine are not uh, okay now acidic amino acid they have free a carboxylic group in the tip of their alkyl chain and therefore they are polar since they give off protons um, the examples are aspartic acid and glutamic acid aspartic acid is also known as aspartate and glutamic acid is also known as glutamate <coughs> um, and as aspartic acid the um, alkyl chain has CH2 COOH and in the glutamic acid the reducing chain reducing uh, the alkyl chain is CH2 CH2 COOH now basic amino acids they have free NH2 group in the alkyl chain they are polar and they can accept proton and become positively charged examples are lysine and arginine lysine and arginine uh, lysine has a structure that uh, follows CH2 four times 
CH2, 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 and NH2. Okay, CH2 four times and then NH2 <coughs> in the in the alkyl chain. Now alcoholic amino acid has um, CH2 in its uh, alkyl chain, and so example are serine and threonine. Okay, serine has this structure <coughs> and it is polar. Now sulfur containing amino acid have sulfur in their alkyl group. Uh, example are cysteine and methanoin okay methionine and cysteine and cysteine has C uh, ch2sh in the alkyl group and the methionine has ch2 ch2 s as ch3 structures are meant to be rodent there is another sulfur containing amino acid called cysteine okay which is the uh, combination of condensation of the two cysteines okay uh, which form this cysteine now hydrocyclic amino acid okay this is just uh, addition of these two pieces of this to form this now hydrocyclic amino acid they have NH group within the ring that is called amino group instead of NH2 we know we knew that uh, <coughs> all of them had NH2 okay but this is the only one which has NH now it is it has two ex examples proline and hydroxyproline proline uh, where all of them have CH2 CH2 and then the major one being CH CH double OH okay this is to be roadland this is to be roadland here the, there would be CHOH and here would be CH2 it would be non-polar because no um, hydrogen uh, hydrogen giving of thing and here we have something that can give off oxygen so it is polar they give off hydrogen hydrogen not oxygen sorry okay so it is now histidine is polar um, we just knew that histidine histidine when up, uh, acted upon by histidine dicarboxylase then it forms histamine and carbon dioxide histamine was um, uh, present in the last chapter okay it was inflammatory molecule and released by during allergic reactions and it is a vasodilator and present in the muscles and basophils okay now aromatic aromatic cells amino acids they have they have their um, alkyl chain in the form of rings now the alkyl chain that is present would have rings now examples are phenylalamine triosine and tryptophan phenylalamine has same thing but ch2 and then a ring chain which will have ch 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 all the side and which would connect to the ch2 similarly here there would be last on the last there would be oh since there is OH you will know that it will polar because it can give up hydrogen and here due to presence of CH it would be non-polar now a very important topic what is zwitter ion zwitter ions are those are now proteins and amino acids can act as buffer now they can accept protons and give off protons to maintain the pH of solution okay uh, this is exchange of protons can maintain the pH of solution now this is um, a typical amino acid now if we put it in a strongly acidic medium it would accept hydrogen uh, protons or hydrogen plus ions to become positively charged and if it is kept in a strongly basic or alkaline medium it will give off the hydrogen and become negatively charged okay so it would give off the protons and become negatively charged <coughs> Now structurally there would be one hydrogen plus in the NH2 so and that would gain a uh, positive charge and uh, if it is in basic then the uh, C double OH H the H present in the COH would uh, um, be given off and thus would attain a negative charge. Now if we, um, if we keep that at isoelectric point okay and uh, then it would be neutral and this neutral uh, amino acid would be called zwitter ion okay zwitter ion is a dipolar ion okay uh, means it can receive it has received as well as lost ions 
now it is a greek word which means hybrid molecule which has both positive as well as negative charge and it is a electrically neutral there is a specific ph for amino acid called as electric uh, point isoelectric point which we just talked about where the okay where the charge on the ion is um, which, uh, which have both positive and negative and the potential charge is nothing now essential amino acids are those acids that are not synthesized by our, our body however we need them so, and they are taken by to our, in our body through plants there are eight essential amino acids required for by the adults that are VLT, TP, LMT, V for valine, leucine, isotocine, tryptophan, phenylalanine, okay, lysine, methionine, and threonine. Now, <coughs> VLI that is valine, leucine, and isotocine are neutral. Tyrosine is not an uh, essential AA amino acid because it can be synthesized by our body now there are two amino acids called as semi-essential amino acid because they are required by children below 10 years those are histidine and 